Welcome on board Veneto First 27.7 Aujunina by NAS Sailing. Coming inside, we have a mount for the autopilot and have to connect it to the electric power here on the stern starboard. When you connect it to this mount here, all you have to do is press auto and then adjust the st steering here and here and stand by and disconnect it completely before you can steer. Manual bilge pump here and controls for the engine to put it to keep it in neutral just press and move forward or just adjust speed by moving forward and back you can disconnect it completely while sailing in the cockpit starboard is the mount for the cockpit table which is inside here together with a big solar panel which put outside and connect this connector to this plug on the stern there's a fuel tank shore power spare ropes there's a big bimini that goes over the boom and another smaller one right there life jackets bucket water hose refrigerator with controls right here and on and off switch here stern port side is a cockpit shower there's a big spray hood and all lines and halyards led aft to the cockpit sheets on these two winches here and a roller furling on the starboard side aft here compass winch handle storage instruments moving forward is a full wet mainsail with the lazy bag and there's reefing points here with the hooks on both sides of the boom forward on the bow there is water tank inlet and electric winch with controls that you put in and out here and control as you're putting it up you have to open here and occasionally check by hand that the chain moves nicely inside the storage four fenders two on each side and back on the stern starboard side there's a waste tank inlet and diesel tank filling in the center of the cockpit we have main sheet 
goes at the end of the boom and a big traveler on the stern for full control of the mainsail. Coming inside on the starboard side is a big navigation table with electric control panel, chargers for USB and 12 volts, battery controls, heel control, wireless speaker, and the GPS chart plotter and engine control. Key on, start and to stop the engine here is a big compression lever put back and put the key back off. Spare winch handles plus a handle to manually crank the engine. There's a mount for the windlass control. Inside chart table is everything for navigation. Underneath there's a service battery, fire extinguisher and don't put anything close to the hydraulic keel control. Forward underneath both of the benches are big storages, more storages on the side, toolbox, nice double berth in front, storage underneath and or storage is on the port side. Port side cabin has galley with small ice box, sink with the foot pump here, plus you can make another workbench from this. There's a stove which you just move and start or turn off here. Under here we have spare gas, water valve and galley equipment underneath and above gas detector, aft cabin, the stern starboard, we have bathroom with marine toilet, standard Jopsko with the lever first to the left, pump in water to the right and pump everything out. It goes through the waste tank so if you want to keep it inside the waste tank there's a valve that you just close and when you want to empty the waste tank just open this valve. Also in the bathroom is a, another bilge pump and main battery switches. Inside the salon table is a system for lifting and lowering the keel. There are two bolts here that need to be completely tight when sailing and when sailing the keel has to be completely down. For lifting the keel to first unscrew these two bolts and we remove
remove the bolts. And there is a switch above, just above the chart table. And the keel is going up. It has to go all the way up, it cannot stay in, in the middle, it has to be either all the way up or all the way down. We slowly lift it, you have to be careful for the mounts here and move them away and then when it's completely up just lower it underneath under the mount leave it like this until you're finished and then when you need to lower it hoist a bit more remove and then lower When the keel is completely down, you have to screw back on these safety pins to keep the keel fixed. 